like really weird because my shirt is totally dark and my hair is totally dark too so anyway um so this video is just going to be another review um and comparison of these two cream blushes and i'm talking about the cream um elf cream blush and revlon's photo ready photo ready cream blush anyway so i just want to kind of like compare these two together to see if they're com compar comparable to you know to each other to see which one is the best and to see which one stands out better anyway so i'm going to start with the elf cream blush and this is what it looks like and i actually did a review on this just the um elf cream blushes and um it's one of um you know my video i'll like link it down below anyway so this is what it looks like and i have this in heartbreaker and elves has five different shades of this cream blushes and so far i have three of them including this one and this contains about 53 ounce or 15 grams and um this cream blush is actually long wearing at least to me it lasts at least four hours on my um you know skin for you know for that you know long and um it is pigmented too and um a little goes a long way with um elf's products all the time and um i would say i already did a video on this and i'm going to say this again um this is it's not quite cream blush to me um, the consistency of this product is definitely not cream because when you touch it, it definitely feels like a mousse, you know. Um, and when you apply this, this, the finish is powdery somehow, um, which I don't mind because I kind of like it, you know what I mean? But um, it's kind of weird to um, address this as cream blush because this is definitely not a clean cream blush. I actually have a Maybelline similar to this one. It's very moussey, kind of like that, but um, I would not say it's kind of like really, really mousse because it's the, the texture of this is really weird. I can't even explain, but um, it looks like that on the inside, and um, so the um the thing about this product too is it has a bulky packaging which is you know ridiculous sometimes to some people but i actually happen to love this um packaging because it's just kind of like i don't know i just like it it's like looks like a big glass and stuff like that but i just like it it's just like very bulky and i don't think you need all this you know packaging but I don't mind it. But um, anyway, um, so the this is what it looks like for the cream. I mean, for the Elf's cream blushes. And um, the good thing about this um, cream blush, it has a good selection of um, of um, the sh um, the colors. And one of my cream blushes is actually, I think they discontinue it for some reason. But anyway, they they are available at any Target stores or any drug stores. Um, but I mainly buy mine in um, in their website, which is I'll link it down below. Yeah. And so next is the Revlon Cream Blush, and this is what it looks like. I have this in Coral Reef, and I don't have all the shades of this um, Photo Ready Cream Blush because. Um, I happen to just like want to try this um, this cream blush and when I want to try something I don't normally just buy all of the colors I want to try just one of them to see if it works on me first before I, before I purchase all of them but this is what it looks like this is definitely cream textured to me and it's really really um silky finish and this is um available at any walmart or any local stores like that and this is also available at any drugstores brands um and this is retail at least um i actually check on their website today and this is 
t about ten dollars in their website and I'm not sure how much this costs in um, in the stores now because I purchased mine like um, last summer and I'm not sure how much I paid for it because it's such a long time ago and I just can't remember it it might be still ten dollars but I'm not really sure but in their website the Revlon um, you know website I check this out to see how much the price is and it's a retail price for ten dollars and it has um, three shades and this contains 44 ounce or 12.4 grams this cream blush is actually long wearing lasts up to eight hours very light and um, it has a dewy finish I mean a dewy feel to it and this is like um, really light on my skin when I apply this um, this is definitely a cream blush to the touch and the packaging is really nice too I just like that it's not bulky like elves and you just see the comparison it's definitely like I'm wearing a blush and it's not one of those cream blush that makes you feel um, you know like when you touch it you feel the cream blush on your cheeks it's not one of those cream blushes it's not oily on my cheeks you know it it stays a long time I would say that you know probably the top is five hours on my opinion at least I don't really like um, you know I don't need that much to um, you know use this on my face uh, well it depends what kind of color you have I have this in coral reef and this is just kind of like a very corally color it looks red right now but it's not red it's actually a coral you know it looks like that and um, so this is very old very pigmented but not overpowering pigmented you For know my I mean? review of this two um, cream blushes this blushes are really good overall you know what I mean but if I am going to pick one for any reason, it could be a price or it could be the consistency, which one you, um, you know, what reason you may have. But for me, I always want to try um, kind of like in the middle. I want it cheap, but I also want a good consistency and a good pigmentation. Um, if I am on a price budget, um, I would recommend the e.l.f. because the e.l.f. one is $6 and um, it has five shades. Um, and this also contains like um, a lot of product than Revlon, if you can see that. And this is very pigmented and it does a really do it does a really good job um you know being a weird cream blush because this is not a cream blush and um if you don't care for the price i would definitely recommend the um revlon photo ready um because although you might don't get as much product like elf but i would say that if you are looking for a cream blush that also feels like a cream blush and has a silky finish and just looks natural then I would um, go for Revlon. The pros and cons of um, these products um, I'm gonna start with the um, the elf one. The cons of the elf cream blush the packaging is so bulky and, and this is definitely not cream consistency it's kind of like mousse not quite mousse you know what I mean but um, um, and also the finish is definitely not cream it has a powdery finish to it so yeah that's one of the um, weird explanation for Elf's cream blush and the pros of the um, of this blush is the price the price is awesome for this so uh, that's one of the pros of the um, cream and blush. And this is really pigmented too and I'm not going to complain so much about this product because for six dollars you get a really good amount of this you know um, cream blush I'm not going to super complain about that. The um, 
The cons for Revlon is eh, it's kind of pricey for a drugstore brand and I'm not even sure if, if it's really that pigmented to be $10. And this is not even that much of a product anyway, but I still give it a try because I know Revlon, you know, is really great sometimes if you're lucky. Um, the, um, the cons, I mean the, um, yeah, one of the cons I don't like about this Revlon is, I mean the cream blush is they don't have a really a lot of selections, you know, they only have it in three shades, which, um, a bummer because they should make more you know what I mean and so um, you can't really get a whole lot of color selection you know and the pros about this um, cream blush is definitely very dewy on your skin and it gives you that satin like um, you know dew finish that feels like you're not wearing any blush but you're you're kind of like kind of like wearing your um, natural looking blush on your cheeks you know what I mean um, I'm actually wearing it today if you can see it um, and also it lasts a really long time and I just love the packaging and this is definitely cream uh, blush you know what I mean and um, so to my um, opinion opinion what is opinion Anyway, to my opinion about these two products, um, which one is the best to me? It's kind of hard to really pick one, which one is the best because um, they're, they are really amazing products. And so it's, I'm kind of like, uh, but if you're just looking for a cheap quality cream blush, but still has that pigmentation that you're looking for, um... I would definitely go for the e.l.f. because e.l.f. is actually um, getting better, you know what I mean? And I actually use this pretty much, you know, pretty much every day, especially for the winter. I use this a lot because it just gives me that, you know, color that you need for the winter time. And the Revlon Photo Ready Cream Blush, I use this in the summertime, so if you want... Um, if you want just kind of like a, a pinch of glow or a pinch of color in your cheeks during summertime, I would definitely bleh, definitely recommend the Revlon one because it doesn't really really show a whole lot of color in your cheeks. And it just gives you that, you know, like natural uh, blush on your cheeks. And um, if you don't mind the price for this, I would say go for this but if you are on a budget I would say go for elf because sometimes they have a good deal on their website so this is what this is what it looks like and you can just tell that the um, that the elf is definitely looks more of a mousse and see if you can see you can see that and the Revlon is definitely more of a cream and so I have this heartbreaker because this is more of a corally color and um, the what they call this the coral reef and so I, I kind of like compare these two colors together and this is not as orangey as the coral reef and though you know did I say though I said and so mm. anyway I hope this helps and I'm sorry about um, if I'm not really that clear but I hope that this helps you and I would definitely purchase these two products because this is really good if you want a color a good pigmentation a really good pigmentation go for elf and a good price and if you just want the natural how many times should I say that anyway so I'm going to shut it and I will see you again in my next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Mwah.